Welcome. This is the 25th in my Climate Mythbuster series, and the myth I'm going to bust today is that scientists claim there will be no more snow as a result of global warming. Now, my apologies in advance if I sound a bit croaky because I've just recovered from the flu and I'm only just getting my voice back. Well, let's start as always with the myth conception itself. When there is a snowfall in the United States, there is often uh, a video put up and they'll go back to this particular statement that was made some years ago. Within a few, very few years, winter snowfall will become a very rare and exciting event. Children aren't just going to know what snow is. This quote is often attributed to Al Gore, which is not correct. And it's used any time there's an extreme snowfall in the United States to prove how wrong the global warming theory is. So let's take a look at that and see whether any of this holds water. Let's first of all see who said this and what he was actually talking about. The truth is out there if you only look for it. The quote is from Dr. David Viner of the University of East Anglia, not from Al Gore. It was made in the year 2000 and he was talking about snowfall in England. So let's take a look at the relative amount of snowfall in England as a function of time. So was Dr. David Viner right? Well, this is the data that he would have had available to him when he made the statement in the year 2000. This is the annual number of days that sleet or snow fell in various parts of the UK in the period from 1961 to 1990. Now, I lived in southern England, and as a kid, I remember that snow was a very rare event. We would more often get sleet and if it did snow, the snow generally didn't lay. And if it did lay at all, it would be gone by the next day or two. So snow was a pretty rare event and a special thing for us kids. According to this map, we'd get something like between 10 and 20 days of snow per year. Now, how has this map changed in the next 20 years? Well, a quick glance at this map which goes from 1981 to 2010, shows in fact he was right. Just about everywhere across the whole of the country, uh, the amount of snow days has dropped. Particularly if you look at the southern England, remember that was 10 to 20 snow days per year, and now we're in the less than 10 uh, category. So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. On the left, we have the 1961 to 1990 average number of snow days per year uh, for that period. And on the right, we have the 1981 to 2010 period. And there's a stunning difference between those two maps. You can see that most of the southern part of England now has snow as a very rare event indeed, with less than 10 snow days uh, per year. In fact, the whole of the country, or from the very southern tip, all the way up to Scotland, uh, the number of snow days have reduced just about everywhere. This is the effect of global warming, and it's only going to get worse. Imagine in 2021, when the 1991 to 2020 map comes out, what it may look like. Well, let's see if we can piece together some conclusions from all of this. It seems that Viner was correct the snowfall in the UK is becoming a much rarer event from the south of England all the way up to Scotland. If anthropogenic global warming continues at its present rate, the next generation of British kids may not know what snow is. But he also said as part of the same interview, which is often not mentioned, is that we're really going to get caught out. Snow will probably cause chaos in 20 years time. Here he's referring to the fact that because of global warming, there's more moisture in the air, so precipitation will increase and extreme weather events are going to become more common. So every now and then, the UK is going to get dumped with a whole load of snow that it wasn't expecting. And because it's not used to snow, it's going to cause chaos. And those sorts of events have already started to happen. So if you like this video, please pass it on to those who may benefit from seeing it. And until next time, goodbye.